The mention of UFOs and flying saucers in Indian epics. Many Hindus believe that ancient Indians had access to aeroplanes or flying machines known as viman. Even Jain scriptures refer to the flying palaces or viman of celestial beings that many have taken to mean flying saucers. Viman means that which measures out or that which stretches our mind. In architecture it alludes to the grand pyramidal tower above the room where the deity is enshrined in a temple it refers to the chariot of gods in vedic times mantras were chanted to invoke and invite the gods for a meal they would come on their flying chariots which in puranic times were visualized as grand temples with towers and many floors and pillars Are these flying chariots referring to the psychological state that elevates us towards divine potential or are they real things objects created by ancient scientists and architects There is no archaeological evidence and the current knowledge of aeronautics indicates that the structures described could not possibly have been airborne Across the world there are many gigantic pyramidal structures such as the pyramids of Giza, Egypt, leading to speculations that ancient people in collaboration with aliens built these structures that gave them the power of flight. Many argue that ancient Vedic wisdom enabled rishis to acquire the power siddhi of telekinesis which allowed them to travel in flying chariots. Many are offended if this cl- is classified as wishful thinking. or a fantasy to prop up a sense of inadequacy but it must be kept in mind that the force with which some people argue about the existence of aeroplanes in india's ancient history is matched with equal force by the same people who insist there was no homosexuality in ancient india that being said both the ramayana and the mahabharata do contain references to flying chariots The Ramayana is famous for the Pushpak Viman of Ravan. It was built by Kubera, the Yaksha king, who used it to travel around the world. It was assured by Ravan, who used it to terrorize the world. Ravan being Sita to Lanka over the sea on this chariot. Later, Ram returns to Ayodhya on this chariot. The Viman is sometimes imagined as being pulled by birds. just as regular chariots are pulled by horses in the mahabharata the flying chariot is in the background one wonders where krishna is when the pandavas enter the gambling hall of the kauravas we are told in the puranas that he is busy fighting the friends of shishupal krishna beheads shishupal at indraprastha during yudhishthir's coronation in retaliation shishupal's friend shalva attacks krishna's city of dwarka with his flying viman while krishna is busy fighting shalva the pandavas gamble away their kingdom